Several years ago, we passed a multi-level bond, and part of that bond was what we call the Fine Arts Athletics Classroom Stadium Project. The most visible change has been the addition of the West Stadium, but also what you see behind me is our new band building. One of the things that we have really tried to do on this bond and will continue to do as a district is to provide adequate practice space and performance spaces for all of our different groups and clubs. And this building will allow our entire band to be together. They've outgrown their current space. I've been working on this space for 16 years, every single day. The new space for our staff and students, parents and volunteers to call home and, and really, um, really invest in and treasure is it's, it's pretty special. I'm really excited to see the new building, how it turns out, how it interacts with the stadium. To think that we're gonna get our own building, to create all these friendships and strengthen all these friendships, it just, it feels so much like a family. And I'm excited to take that to another building. We've been planning, dreaming, thinking, hoping, designing on this project for many, many years. So to see it getting framed now and the brick going up soon and having that sort of big time feel, almost a collegiate level design and feel to it, along with the acoustic benefits that come with a totally bricked in stadium are gonna be extremely unique. In this building will be our visitor's ticket booth. Also, the large video board that we're gonna put in. When we put this in, we had to take down the other one and it just didn't make a lot of sense for us to try to repurpose that one, especially with how old it was. The band building's about 15,000 square feet with about 3,000 square foot of mezzanine for the mechanical systems. Two large band rooms, one that's over 5,000 square feet and one that's over 2,600 square feet. So they'll have house, large number of our students. When it does get rainy outside or way too hot or way too cold, we usually come inside and practice in our banner one right here. And when you have the full band in there, you have um, all the brass or all the woodwinds in there, it does get pretty tight. There's also access directly onto the football field, which I think is going to be pretty cool when we do performances. To be able to, to step right out the doors, right into the field is going to be really special, really unique, very exciting. It's certainly the vision that Dr. Hartzler cast for the band to be able to take the field in a really mighty way. A lot less intensive when it comes to, you know, lugging your big instrument, especially for French horn players like me. And the mellophone case is pretty bulky along with tuba players. So I think it'll be a lot easier on them to be able to get out there and start marching. Maybe cut down some of the time. Let's say we're in a rehearsal or performance and the rain comes, we're inside instantly, which saves wear and tear on our instruments, on our uniforms, and on our people. Just the adjacency and the proximity is, is unlike anything else I've ever seen for, for a high school type of facility. Also, we have locker areas for instruments and also for the uniforms. Right now, if you go to the high school, they're spread out at a lot of different places, even underneath the stadium. It can definitely get really crowded in this band hall. Just more space altogether will be really great. We really try to build for the, for the students, but we also have to realize a lot of our staff members spend the majority of their life with us. Having an office space that's more collaborative really makes a difference in our efficiency and our effectiveness and helps us serve our students that much better. Being in a program like this, it gets you engaged in the community, it gets you engaged at school, and it just makes everything more exciting with football games and competitions. It's definitely like a family and that's what makes it so much more enjoyable than school. I mean, this is my favorite class because of the people here. So thankful to our voters, so thankful to our, our community who have been so supportive of our, of our district, and most importantly, so supportive of our kids. As we've always said, we'll never apologize for trying to provide the very best for our students. Having all this extra room, space, it's honestly just really breathtaking. Thank you all. A big thank you to the people who voted for the bond issue um, because just the stadium already has been a really big improvement. It's been amazing to play in it this year. And then I'm really excited for the band hall. I think it's going to be like the cherry on top for this like whole renovation. And I'm really grateful that we get these new opportunities. I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. This band program wouldn't be as like great as it was without our supporters. To get behind it in a really tangible way, like a new building that's going to be one that serves generations of students for decades to come is really appreciated.